I've always wanted to know, does 3D camouflage make a difference with bird photography? We're going to find out today. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography coming at you again. I just got a new 3D camouflage uh, outfit or suit or whatever you want to call it, a ghillie suit. So today I'm going to give it a try and see if I can kind of blend in with the bushes. Um, I'm not trying to go like full on sniper cover up, but I'm hoping that maybe it'll give me a few extra seconds to get some shots off before the birds actually notice me. Stay tuned and see how it turns out. So I found a really good strategy that seems to be working out well today is I'm trying to figure out the direction of the foraging that the birds are taking and once I can kind of figure out the line that they're taking they're going from tree to tree and they're working in a certain direction since I have the suit on I'm trying to position myself ahead of them in a hidden location so I'm trying to kind of crouch behind bushes and just be in their in the, the route that they're taking and then see if I can get some shots because I do notice that they do hear my shutter but they're not sure exactly where I am. Alright, back in the car again, and that was a good experience, I think, wearing the camouflage. I came away with two uh, main points of wearing the suit that made it, I think, a beneficial thing. It is The first thing that I realized is that it gave me a little more time. As far as, once the birds notice you and they become startled, they, um, you know, your chances of getting the shot diminishes a little bit because they're getting ready to leave and there's kind of like a countdown timer about how long you can actually stand there before they take off and are annoyed by you. So with that I felt like the camouflage gave me a little more time and then the other main thing that I felt was really good is it got me a little bit closer to the birds. So in the instances where I was setting up somewhere and just hanging out for a few moments at a time, five to ten minutes, and the birds would start coming my direction, they wouldn't notice me maybe right away so I was getting those, that first burst of shots why they were relatively close at times. So I felt like that was, a, that was definitely an advantage. Um, I did notice as well too that uh, I had to change my style of shooting. So with that second example, I was actually able to hide out and, and just kind of wait and let the birds come to me because I felt like I blended in more and I didn't look like I was someone wearing a bright blue shirt and green foliage. So, so that's my takeaway. I think it was a good thing. I'd like to give it a try some more and at some point I'll try putting the pants on too and, and being totally blended out there. So wait for that video. Until then, thanks for watching. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography.